Hello friends, welcome back to LMSDaily.com. In today's screencast, we will see how you can update the default course import settings on your Moodle site. This screencast will assume that you are having the admin access on your Moodle site and we will follow along now. So as you can see on my page, uh, I am already logged in as a site admin on my Moodle site and I will just go to this site admin page here. Now go to the courses tab here and scroll down a bit until you see this backups section here so here we will uh, we'll be going to this general import defaults which will take us to the settings which are applicable while importing any course in this Moodle site so here you can see that these two are the general import defaults and i'm not going to change them as of now what i'm interested is in these general import settings which are applicable whenever i am importing a course on this Moodle site so here you can go through each setting one by one and uh, you can check if you need to include the permission overrides. So if you check this box, then the role permissions coming from the new course will be imported. And it can override the existing permissions for enrolled users in this Moodle site. So you need to make sure that you are using it with caution. I will uncheck this as of now. Then you can include this activity and resources which is by default yes and it is required so i will just keep it to yes you can also choose if you would like to import the blocks from the course so i don't want to import the blocks, so i'll just keep it unchecked and i can also lock this so that it cannot be changed by anyone who is importing the course on this moodle site and then you can also choose to include the filters i will just keep it yes and then you can include the calendar events. I don't want to include the calendar events because there might be some courses which are created slightly uh, older, which are created a long back. So I will not use them. So I will just uncheck this. And you can also include the question bank. You can also include the groups and groupings. I will just uncheck this because I don't want to import the groups and groupings in uh, the backup file to this Moodle site and i don't want to include the competencies also however i will also uh, keep this content bank content uh, as checked and i will uncheck this include legacy course files as unchecked so i have set all the settings according to my requirements and then i will just click on save changes button now whenever anyone is importing the course on this Moodle site, they shall see all these settings as default for importing the course. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for our YouTube channel. It will really help me to create more engaging content for you in the future. Thank you.